everybody. Uh, welcome to Adventures of Kramer. And so have been having some requests on Twitter feed and some of the chats. Wanted to know how does billing work for Starlink? And since it just actually showed up today to where I can actually make a new payment, I thought I'd go through and go ahead and show everybody. So to start with, um, you need to actually go to the Starlink website and be able to actually sign in. Um, and for those of you that have been wondering, hey, where do I go to actually try and sign up for the Better Than Nothing beta program and see if you actually can get it um, or are in the actual service area? This is where you go on the main Starlink.com website and you put in your email address, you put in your service address and you see whether or not you're available. Um, and if you end up getting the coveted like email coming from Starlink saying, hey, congrats, you're able to get into the Better Than Nothing beta. Um, I'm not sure when more of those are going to be coming out. I've been seeing that up in Canada that people have been getting it, which is awesome. So it, it's cool that it's just kind of expanding more and more. And as more satellites keep going up, it's going to be great. But the sign in for right now is only working for like the sign in button that's up there in yellow for those that are actually in the program already. So when you get here, obviously go through sign in, email, password, all that fun stuff in your actual account. And so this is a typical homepage. Obviously, I've blocked out a bunch of different pieces because like the, I mean, there's no point in you seeing all those different spots. So you have the nice, I mean, just intro type piece um, up in the upper kind of corner. Obviously, the home section, billing support. This is where you can access your profile. Have a couple of different orders in mind. The actual like Starlink dish whenever I bought it. Plus, then I ordered both the Volcano roof mount and the Ridgeline roof mount. I wasn't sure which one was gonna work out best. I ended up using the Ridgeline roof mount. Um, that's actually worked out the best for me so far. And then um, it shows up right here though. Normally when I would log in, it would just say balance due of $0. Now it's showing make a payment. Um, and so I am still today when I'm filming this, it is, uh, October, wait, no, it's November 20th. And so I got this on November or October 27th. So it's basically doing it a week before the due date. This is actually showing up for the balance due because I have actually looked at my account yesterday on the 19th and it didn't show up there. So they are putting that up there a week in advance. From what I'm seeing so far though, this is not automatic payments. Um, it is something that you do need to be able to go on and be able to help get notified. I didn't see any notification as far as emails Whenever you go from here, this is what the billing section looks like. Um, it shows that, hey, you have a current charge as of November. Um, it's nice that there's no taxes being hit on this compared to whenever buying the actual satellite dish got hit with upwards of $50 some dollars in taxes. So that's just another kind of piece there. And so it does save your payment method over here and you can just use that existing one. It keeps that on file. I don't see anything in there that's showing uh, automatic payments happening, but you do get this little type of um, kind of pencil icon over here to the right. And so when you click on that, you get to see what's up next. And so this is where some people have been asking, hey, what can we use? Can I change? Can I update? Can, what can I do for payment methods? I'm not seeing necessarily that you can just remove a payment method, but I am seeing that, hey, you can go ahead and update to a different payment method as far as what types of credit cards are accepted um, there is nothing that i'm seeing so far is in terms of restrictions i would assume all the major credit cards are being accepted i'm not seeing paypal as an option though um, so i do see the fact of i would assume any type of like visa mastercard discover uh, American Express, I would assume any of the major like four out there that would be accepted. I am not sure whether or not prepaid or debit cards are going to be working as well. I'm assuming just mainly credit cards. I would assume maybe some of the different prepaids might end up working. I don't know, especially with the fact that it's not like automatic billing. Um, from there, this is just helping to make the payment and what it kind of starts to look like and just kind of it does at least like nice to confirm that so you don't just actually click make a payment and hey it is wanting you to help make sure once you hit the submit though then it does say payment pending um and i'm assuming that just 
whatever it is for taking to help confirm that. I have seen in some of the kind of support questions that there are chances that it could end up like failing on the payment. And so eventually I'm going to make a video kind of going over that. But for now, um, obviously I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't fail on the payment, but that's what I'm seeing up there in terms of that helping to show. Um, one thing that I do want to try and help note in case people are wondering like, Hey, can I just like be able to move around? They are not really allowing that right now in the better than nothing beta. Um, and what I mean by that is if you want to change a service address, you have to cancel it. So in the event you have the better than nothing beta, I, I might not sign up for it. If you're planning on moving here in the next like four to six months or something like that. I mean, otherwise you're going to cancel it. And unless you know for 100% certain that it's going to be available in your new address, um, you might have a $600 lawn ornament while you're waiting in order to um, get that like back up and running again, because that would be pretty hard. Now, I know that's not going to be the case in the future. They do want to be able to make it to where you can move to different spots. But because this is in during beta phase, they are locking it like geo locking it or what's it called? Geo fencing it to specific areas where you can't sit and move it around. Um, I'm hoping this helps everybody out, helps you get a better idea of what it's like on billing for Starlink. Thanks everybody for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below.